Hey, my friends of Geek Workshop, welcome, welcome once again to this, your favorite channel. As you can see in today's video, uh, we are going to have a comic book review. So, are you guys ready? Fantastic! Let's begin! So, today I am going to talk about this. This famous comic book here, Escape from Alcatraz. I received this comic book a while ago. Okay, much better. A long, long time ago from a student of mine that visited this place. In fact, he went to this place with his wife and he brought me this present. This comic book was a present and let me tell you, it's a very, very nice comic book and the story is very, very cool. But uh, obviously when we talk about being in jail, when we talk about that situation, it's something that most of the people, uh, unfortunately, is not proud of and uh, is something that, or the different, the different dangers, the different dangerous situations that you have there or that you are exposed to are not very nice situations. But, uh, but uh, obviously it's something that you have to deal with. If you're there, it's something that you have Again, it's something that you have to deal with. But let's talk about this comic book here. Okay, so as you can see, this is the front cover. Okay, the front cover here. Escape from Alcatraz, the title, Back from the Dead. Okay, you have this graphic here of this uh, inmate or prisoner trying to escape. And you see here the bullets here. Okay. Here you see these names, Jaime Portillo, Arturo Delgado, Danny Morales, and Sen. Uh, people responsible for uh, these, this comic book here, Escape from Alcatraz. And here we have this, look, caution, graphic depiction of a violent Alcatraz escape attempt, okay? Once again. This is the front cover, and let me show you the back cover, okay. You see, we have this part here, uh, this short explanation about the first six issues. Here we have this picture here of the rock, or that very famous prison, Alcatraz. Here we have this information about Golden Gate National Parks. Here, we have this information about the Golden Gate National Parks Conservancy. Okay, so, uh, guys, let's go back to the front cover. Okay, so, let me show you this. So, like I said, this is the title, Back from the Dead. And here, take a look. Written by Jaime Portillo, illustrated by Arturo Delgado, colored by Danny Morales, letter by Zen. And I am going to show you some of the pages here. Okay, so if we talk about if we talk about the graphics, if we talk about the graphics, uh, in my humble opinion, <laughs> in my humble opinion, graphics look they look pretty pretty nice. Okay, they look very very nice. Once again, in my humble opinion, I am an English teacher. I'm not an illustrator. Okay, okay. If, if we look, for example, the story itself is descriptive in a graphic way for people to understand in a short way um, the situations that the prisoners experience inside that very famous place. Okay? It's very, very descriptive. <clears throat> the language, the language, on the other hand, the language that we can see in all these uh, comic book, 
we can say that it's a language that is very, very informal. Let me show you these two examples of words here in this part of the story. Look, I can taste the booze and babes already. Booze is a synonym, is an informal way of saying alcohol. And babes is an informal way of saying girls in English. So, if you look, once again, the language is very, very informal and graphic. And is very graphic, that, that type of language they use there. So, guys, as a material, as a type of material for an English class, okay, Let's say that is appropriate. But you have to be careful with the type of students you have in your classroom. Because as you can see, as you can see, the story is very graphic and is not, is not suitable, is not suitable for uh, little kids. So, once again, teachers, if you want to use this, please be careful with the type of students that you have inside your classrooms. Now, is it, or what is my opinion about this? <clears throat> Sorry, what is my opinion? Simple. Once again, I like, I enjoy it, uh, Reading this, because it's very easy to read, it's not that difficult, it's not that complicated, but uh, you have to be careful. You have to be careful, again, with the type of language and the type of students that you have in your classrooms. It's a good way for people, for young people, to know a little bit about this place, this famous place, Alcatraz. But there are other sources of information out there if you don't feel comfortable working with this type of material in your classes. In the meantime, guys, thank you. Thank you very much for being here today. If you enjoy the content of the workshop, please subscribe, hit that button, turn the notifications on, and have a nice rest of the day and the week. So long. Take care.